Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this part, we are going to set up the backend of this project. So we are going to create the backend using Express and TypeScript. And by the way guys, if you have not watched the introduction part of this project, please watch that to get an idea about the final product. Okay, and I'll put all the code in the description box. If anything goes wrong in your project, you can just check that out. Okay, cool. So just go to a terminal. Let's create the project folder. CR file. As simple as that. Just change directory to CR file. Fine, just open this in your code editor. I'm going to use VS code. So code dot. Cool. So inside this, I'm going to create two folder. One is backend and one is frontend. So the backend is server. And another folder. Oh, my VS code is slow. Damn slow. Finally, after five minutes, it has created my server folder. Anyway, just create another folder inside this root, which is client. So client. Nice. Just go inside the server folder. Just open the terminal. Just open the inbuilt terminal or VS code. The shortcut is Ctrl J. Cool. Just go to the server. So CD to server. Fine. Clear. Nice. So let's just install the dependencies first. Before that, just initialize the npm, say npm init, the default one, so that's why. Fine, I got that, clear the terminal, and let's install the dependencies. So I'm going to use express, codes, and .env. These are the packages to set up our app. And then as the dev dependencies, so and npm i, dash d as the dev dependencies i'm going to use typescript typescript compiler so tsc and ts node dev this is kind of node mon for typescript project so ts node dev okay and then the typescript file so type the express one so type slash express and then the types node so type slash node and at the rate type slash codes that's it, enter. Uh, yeah, cool. Just go to package.json and okay, cool. So inside the dependencies, I have this course.env and express, and the dev dependencies, I have this type scores, type express, types node, and ts node dev, tsc, and type shift. Cool. Really cool. So now let's initialize the ts config file. So just use tsc dash dash init and it will initialize your tsconfig file look at this just go to this tsconfig.json file and we need to modify this fine just close the sidebar cool since it is compiler option you have a lot of options and the best thing is these are commented out so whatever you need just uncomment this so target should be es6 for our project and then the module is common js that is fine then look at this this out directory and the root directory just uncomment this we don't need this right now but we need this in future so the out directory is the directory where the build is stored so this should be build or dist whatever you want and the root directory is root directory that is fine then just scroll down strict is true uh -huh -huh. then look at this you have some more options like no implicit any you can just uncomment this just for best practice and then I have this no unused locals you can also uncomment this okay anything else yes module interrupt true keep library check is true and just leave this as default fine save this and now let's create the server just close this just go inside this server just go inside the server and create a file server.ts or index.ts or app.ts whatever you want but make sure this is in the server directory. Oh, this is not in the server directory. Let's put it here. Fine. So express, so import express from express. Just create the express app first. Fine. Const app is just use the express object. Cool. Just create the server. So app.listen, listen to a port, which should be coming from the environment variables, right? So let's create the environment variable. So inside this server, let's create another file which is .env. Why it is not? Yeah, cool. Make sure this is inside the server. So inside .env, let's create the port. This is for now 8000 because my next step gonna run on 3000. So just make this 8000. Cool. 
with this i also like to create another file which is .env.example so that if someone forks my project or if someone clone my project he should have an idea about what are the environment variables he need to set so example because i'm not going to push this .env file in my github repository so if someone forks my project he will not get access to this .env file so in that case he will have access to this .env.example so just set the key no value fine so this is a best practice cool just go to server.ts so just grab this value using this process .env .port and listen to this port and if this is successful just log out the server is listening server is why is in caps on port process.env.port why have not I put this in a const okay so just cut this out just create a variable port and put it here and now just substitute this with this cool and now to get this environment variables I need to configure this right so let's configure this I have imported a dot env package so import dot env from dot env cool let's configure this so dot env dot config that's it nice with that let's also set up the codes so import codes from codes cause I'm going to make a request from localhost 3000 and that is a defined URL it will have a course issue Come on, course, not dot env. Course, let's set up the middleware. <laughs> App dot use. Course, fine. Just call this nice, and that should be it. My server should be running. Let's see. Just go to package dot json and remember we have installed this ts node dev package. Let's set up this. Let's set up a script. Just remove this test, and let's make this dev, not colon dev dev. And then this is ts node dev and the name of our file is server.ts right so server.ts that's it let's see let's go to a terminal make sure you are in the server directory clear this oh by the way guys look at this inside this ts node dev you can also pass a flag which is clear you can pass a lot of flags this is basically clears the previous logs cause that's irritating right to see the previous logs okay that's it save this and now just run npm run dev let's see expand this and the server is running on port 8000 fine so that's it for this part in the next video we are going to create the mongoose model and test the api so see you in the next part bye